Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on how to create multiple text files from distinct values of the SQL table column dynamically in Express. So first of all, I will show my table. This is ICC cricket table which contains five columns, rank, name, country, rating and format. So ICC gave the uh, ranking to the batsmen based on their performance in different formats. So the total number of records are 30 records. So in each format it gave 10 ranks, top 10 ranks, T20 top 10 ranks, ODI top 10 ranks and test top 10 ranks. Now I want to create three multiple text files uh, with T20, ODI and test from this ICC underscore cricket table by creating the package. <coughs> First of all, I am, I, want, I am creating three variables here. So this is my path. I, I want to load all these uh, three text files in this path. <coughs> For that, I am giving source path here source path is one variable data type is the string so here i am taking this path address and paste it in value and second one is format name obj so this data type is object data type and third one here is format name Format name in the sense here three formats T20, test, and ODI. So these are the three variables. Now I am dragging the uh, execute SQL task inside the control pane. Double click to configure. So here in the result set. You took this uh, full result set option and uh, in connection take connection of, of your database sports is my database now uh, coming to SQL statement you need to write distinct values in the format column so how many distinct values are there there are three distinct values distinct format so if you execute this one you will get three see three i am copying this single line sql script paste it in the sql statement of execute sql task editor click ok and go to result set here you can add your result set here so here yes Format name is format name OBJ result set. So all those three distinct values are stored in this in this variable. So click OK. Configuration is done. Now I am dragging the for each loop container. For each loop container. Double click to configure. So here take collection. And enumerator you need to take here is for each edio enumerator. So it is asking edio object source variable. Yes, we are all created format name object variable. We will select that variable and go to variable mappings and select the format name and click OK. So configuration is done for for each loop container. Now drag the data flow task inside for each loop container. Double click. So here you need to take the OLDB source because ICC underscore cricket is the table. We want to load the data. From the table, we want to load that um, create three text files and extract the data. For that, I'm taking the OLDB source. 
double click so connection manager is already collected here you need to take sql command and write your command here so whatever the columns are there you need to take all those columns name country rating comma submit so where format format is equal to question mark and select this script single line script and paste it in the command text and go to parameters here so we already created one format name select the format name and click ok columns and click ok now you drag the flat file <coughs> destination table because we are we, our intention is to want to create the text files double click take new delimited browse so right now we don't have any file here any text file here in this part see here the part that we want to load in this path um, we don't have any text file we have to create one tester sample file uh, to get the address of this path for that i am creating one sample file here sample text there is no data in, in, inside the file just i am taking this file to take the path and here i, I want to collect the names in the first row yes and rest of the things as usual okay no need to do any manual mapping okay so configuration has done successfully now i am i want to uh, write some expression by clicking the flat file connection manager for creating the uh, text files dynamically this is the key part here here we need to select connection string from connection string we already created three variables first i am dragging the source path plus format name so what is there in the format name is it t20 test or oda and i am concatenating with my extension of the file here i, I want to uh, create the text files for that i am taking dot txt within double quotes evaluate expression right now there is no uh, name of the file it will iterate every time at the time of the running of the package and click ok and ok now this for same flat file connection manager change the delay validation property from false to true so all set after running the package we need to create we need to see three different files body i t20 test text files in this path right now there is no uh, except sample file there is no uh, t20 file body i file test file so i am going to run the package now yeah the file is run successfully and go and check your folder you will see three files see here body i and here t20 and here test if you open the test file it contains 10 records see 10 records the same way 
the T20 10 records ODI as well 10 records so this is how you know to generate the multiple files from SQL server by creating this object type variable to store the web values here so again I am explaining the package first you to take the execute SQL task and take the um, distinct values of the uh, uh, query and store it in the object type variable three variables object type variable so all these th 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 three distinct values are stored in this variable afterwards take the for each loop container and configure the collection from collection for each edio enumerator for each edio enumerator it is asking the object variable and in mapping you have to turn, take the format name and uh, from then onwards drag the data flow task and read the data from OLDP source and write the data into the flat file destination and at the end write the uh, expression in the flat file connection manager to get the uh, to get the um, to create the connection string by using the source path by concatenating source path with the format name with the extension dot txt so this is how you need to write and at the end you need to change the delay validation of flat file connection manager to true so this is how you need to create the um, generate the te three text files from the from the sql table columns thanks for watching the video Thank you very much.